What's going on YouTube family? I pray that all is well with you. Yes, it's Antoine Butler and I am back with another video. And a few days ago, me and my wife, we saw this movie and it was called The Fords. This is a must see movie. This movie was excellent. This movie had so much revelation and the movie is just flat out anointed. From the moment the movie started until it ended, God was literally talking to me through the whole movie. And it was one line that really stuck out. A lot of lines stuck out, but one line really stuck out. And the line said, be a fountain, not a drain. Meaning, make an effort to pour into someone else. Don't just always look to be poured into, but make an effort, a conscious effort to find someone to invest in, pour into them. And it resonated with a Bible verse that's Proverbs 11, verse 25. And it says, those who refreshed others shall themselves be refreshed. Once again, you're going to reap in areas that you have sown. So it could be a financial investment. It could be an investment of your time, your wisdom. What do you have to offer? Because you have some nieces or maybe nephews, maybe a coworker or somebody. Find somebody that you could not only maybe lead to Christ, but also help disciple disciple in their walk with Christ. Maybe you have some biblical principles about life you can share. Maybe God has delivered you from something. Maybe you've been delivered from an addiction. You've been delivered from suicidal thoughts, low self-esteem, poverty, whatever the case may be. And now someone else may be struggling in that area. And your testimony may be the exact thing that they need. A word of encouragement from you may be the exact thing that they need to change their life. And as I was thinking about this, I thought that I've always had a spirit of counsel on my life. Sometimes God will reveal to you ultimately what you will be doing later on in your life, but he will reveal it to you early. I can remember literally being around nine years old in grammar school and I would literally have so many other children come up to me or talk to me on the phone and tell me deep problems. I mean, really deep problems, problems with them, problems with their parents or grandparents, all kind of stuff. And in my mind, I'm thinking like, I don't have the answer to this. I haven't experienced anything. Go find an adult to tell it to. But it kept happening so often that I just learned to counsel and just speak from the spirit. And as I got older, of course, God kept tutoring me on, on how to do these things. And as I was watching this movie, The Fords, it was something about when he was discipling other brothers. That's something that I've been doing for a long time, is finding a conscious, finding someone to make a conscious effort to sow something in, maybe financially, maybe biblical wisdom, words of encouragement, so forth and so on, whatever the case may be. But take an interest in someone to make a change in their life without looking for anything in return. Come on now. Did you catch that? Take an interest in someone to make a conscious change in their life without looking for anything in return. Sometimes we say we want to be more Christ-like, but think about it. Christ gave his life on the cross for you and I to be a perpetuation for our sins without looking for anything in return. The Heavenly Father gave his one and only Son to buy us back with a price. The precious blood of Jesus Christ is what the Heavenly Father bought us back with to bring us back in relationship and fellowship with 
the father. So in turn, we should find someone else that we can not only lead to Christ maybe, or maybe they've already been led to Christ. Maybe we can help them in their walk with Christ. Maybe we have some life principles that we can share. Maybe we have a testimony that we can share. Like I said, it could be financially, it could be wisdom, it could be spiritually, it could be all of the above. But find someone that you can pour into. Don't just be a drain, be a fountain. And as you are a fountain with the right heart, you yourself will be refreshed. There are so many Bible verses that say, if you do this, then God will do that. And God is faithful to do his part. The question is, are you faithful to do the first part of the scripture? Because the second part of the scripture is contingent on what you do in the first part of the scripture. So don't always have your mind on yourself. And once again, this is not a condemnation message. This is not a message to say that, hey, sometimes in life you won't need encouragement or somebody to pour into you or things of that nature. But this is a message to say, find someone. Could be one person, could be a bunch of people. But find someone because you have some wisdom to offer someone else. You might be the change that someone else needs in their life. Sometimes you don't know what a person is going through unless you make the conscious effort. And when you make an investment in someone without expecting anything in return, when you show you care that much, you are sharing the love of the Father. And when you exhibit the love of the Father, you will see that you will make a difference in someone else's life. And in turn, you will reap a harvest in your own life. Glory to his name. Well, with that being said, that is the word that God gave me for this video. So, as always, until the next video, I just want to say, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.